Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PDC Joe video, and today guys, we're looking at another deck that involves Abstrika. Now, if I manage to get one card I'm looking for to complete another deck, that's gonna be three videos with Abstrika in them. And you're probably like, oh, what is with this Abstrika? But it's, you know, it's such a good card. It honestly reminds me a lot of when Raichu used to be big back in the day. Like, back back in the day, uh, when Evil Tall was still big, I mean, it's always been big, but back when, like, X and Y was first out, a lot of people ran Raichus in their deck, because you could circle circuit and knock out Evil Tall EXs. So now people are using Zipstrika, because the problem with Raichu is it has 90 HP, and without Muscle Band, Circle Circuit just doesn't cut it because of Funny Fury Belt. So, it just reminds me a lot of that, and I really am kind of nostalgic for that, so it's kind of cool to run them. And uh, we're going to be looking at another deck that kind of revolves around Zipstrika in a way, but not really. It's actually a mixed bag of both Evil Tall and Zipstrika. It's going to be an Evil Tall Zipstrika deck, so why not just use Evil Tall? Now, Evil Tall Garbodor is the bigger version of this. Now, the problem is, is with running that, you're basically running way too much. I mean, two stage two, or two stage one Pokemon. You got the Evil Talls to deal with, and you got all the items and energy. I I just feel like Evil Tall Garbodor Zipstrika, I think it might be a little too much Pokemon. Who knows? I mean, I might cover that in the future. I probably will. You know, if you want me to, I'll do an Evil Tall Garbodor Zipstrika deck. But this could be an Evil Tall Zipstrika deck with different other Pokemon that aren't Garbodor. Just stuff like Mew and Jirachi. So we'll look at those in a minute. But the main focus of the deck is Evil Talls. Uh, the first you get Evil Tall EX, Evil Ball Y Cyclone. You already know this card. It's super strong. Evil Ball, it destroys anything in its path. It's a very, very powerful attack. And then you got the Pitch Black Spear, Evil Tall, which is very powerful. Pitch Black Spear, you can, you know, set up knockouts on Shaman. It's a good play. You can do this all, you know, just Lysander out of Hoopa, Pitch Black Spear them. Because of the ability Fright Knight, which shuts down stuff like Spear Links and Friendly Fear Balls and Bursting Balloons, it shuts down Float Stones. So you can just trap like a Hoopa or something. You can just Pitch Black Spear and take four prizes doing that. So that's another technique. Uh, but Pitch Black Spear is a good attack just to soften up EXs and stuff like that. Or just in general, be annoying. I mean, it's possible to take four prizes with Pitch Black Spear. It's that good. It's even good at sniping Shamans. You got the Baby Evil Tall with uh, Oblivion Wing, which, again, it's a really good card. Oblivion Wing, it's a good way just to get energy in play. It's also a nice little card to start with sometimes if, you know, if you get a bad starter. This thing isn't that bad. Oblivion Wing, again, getting energy back in play. Good late game, too, because uh, usually late game you are a little low on energy. And uh, we obviously got the two shamans. Now, Evil Tall Garbodor is the strongest deck in the format. And I've already covered this in my Vespa Quinn video, but it's like everyone's going like, boom, I got that Evil Tall. Like, I looked up the tournaments again on the Pokemon website, and literally there's so much Evil Tall Garbodor. Zipstrika is necessary. So, you know, Zipstrika, it's got the attack crashing. Bulwark is 50. The defending Pokemon has, well, your opponent's active, but defending, same thing. Tomato, tomato. If the thing has uh, fighting resistance, you're going to do 110 damage to it. But if it's weak to lightning, you're doing 220, which even a funny fury belt, Evil Tall EX will go down to that. So this is going to be our way to deal with Evil Talls. Evil Tall EX is like the most popular deck in the format right now. So uh, you got Zipstrika for Crashing Bolt, which you can just Crashing Bolt them and just, you know, knock out their Evil Talls. And if they can't respond, you can just sweep them with a few Zipstrikas. So this is our way of dealing with Evil Tall. We're going to be running the 2 2 Zipstrika line. So you got the Evil Tall counter, and then you just got the straight up Evil Talls from the deck, the Evil Tall EX, and then the baby Evil Talls. And uh, some other things in here we got Jirachi. Jirachi! It's kind of an underrated card because Stardust is a pretty strong attack. I, it only does 1 for 10, but you can discard a special energy, attach your opponent's attack Pokemon, and then you bring all effects of damage done to this, which can be very good. This is a good way of dealing with Giratina, right? Giratina needs double dragon. And sometimes Giratina just has two double dragons sitting on it, so you can just Stardust that and then Stardust the other one. It, you can run them out of deck energy. It's also good against Vespaquin. Vespaquin's Strike is a deck that uses to counter, you know, Evil Tall, so you got that. Just any deck that relies on special energy can really, you know, not like Jirachi. It's a nice stalling card. It's also a nice card just to, you know, lock your opponent away, you know, getting rid of their special energy. Even with special charge, it's still powerful, and I like Stardust a lot, so we are going to be playing one Jirachi in the deck. It's a nice card. Uh, it's even good against Grin and Break if they play that Splash Energy, so we got one Mew in the deck. Mew's got the ability Memories of Dawn, and the reason we're playing Mew is to deal with Mewtwo Y and stuff like that, and, or just Psychic like Wave Pokemon in general. We got Mew EX also, which can, you know, copy anything. You know, you can use Crashing Bolt, or, you know, you, you're not going to use that, but we do have the Mew EX, which, you know, Mew EX and Mew can both copy 
Mewtwo Y. So that's why we actually run the two two of these guys in the deck. You know, it's like, hey, maybe you don't need them if you don't really want them. Um, again, they're just there to counter Mewtwo Y, which is another still really popular deck in Standard right now. So, you know, you do have the two Mews. Even with their Garbodor, it still is a good thing to have these two guys in the deck. Also, it's just nice to use the Free Retreat and just use their abilities to uh, kind of just copy your Evil Talls and stuff like that. So you don't have to use them yourself. So that this way, when they get knocked out, you still have the Evil Tall that you were copying. So we got those in there. We got two Shamans in the deck also. Going into the items, we got one Enhanced Hammer. This is nice to just start Special Energy. We do run Jirachi, but Enhanced Hammer is just good because it's an item. You don't have to you know, result in playing energy and attacking. So we do play one Enhanced Hammer. Even with Jirachi, it's still a great card to have. Escape Rope. Escape Rope is just such a good card. Sometimes you just force your opponent to bring something they don't want to be brought out. It's very good. Uh, three Max Elixirs. Again, it's just a good way to get a lot of energy to play. We do play nine Dark Energy, so it combos nicely with that. And it is possible to get those turn one Pitch Black Spears. Uh, one Special Charge. This just gets us back our DCE. So it's a lot of things really use the DCE in this deck. So we got one Special Charge for that. One Super Rod, just, you know, get back some Pokemon. Especially the Zip Strikers. Uh, one Switch. Now, we don't play Floatstone, but we will run Switch. And, you know, just switch something out. You never know when Switch can come in handy. Three Trainers Mails. There's a lot of important stuff in this deck. I couldn't find room for four. But, you know what, three is good enough. For Ultra Balls, Ultra Ball, again, you know, search out anything you want. Same with Via Seeker. Like, Via Seeker and Ultra Ball are just staples in any deck. You already know why those are there. We got one Lysander in the deck. I would want to run two, but I couldn't find room. Running two Lysanders could be another good option. Lysander is a good card. You know, bring something up, boom, knock it out. Especially good with Zipstrika when you get a Zipstrika, bring out a Shaman or an Evil Tall and just knock it out with Crashing Bolt. Three ends and four stick more draw support. We do play a Ninja Boy. Ninja Boy can be a fun card. You can Ninja Boy an Evil Tall and switch out into uh, the Pitch Black Spear Evil Tall or switch out Pitch Black Spear Evil Tall into Evil Tall EX. You can go either way. So we do run one Ninja Boy for that. Again, it's just optional. You can run Pokemon Ranger over Ninja Boy or whatever you want. Uh, one Faded Town, this is great against Mega Evolutions, it's just nice to do two extra damage to them, you never know when that can come in handy and when it can add up, especially if they can't get that Faded Town out of the way. We got one Parallel City, again, Parallel City is a great stadium, you know, force your opponent to have three bench Pokemon, or force you to have three bench Pokemon, or even just making your opponent do, you know, less damage with their Grass Fire Water Deck, it's just such a good card. Uh, so we got one of those, one Faded Town, one Parallel City, it's a good combo, we got three Funny Fury Belts in the deck, because, you know, they're good for the Evil Tall, they're good for the Mew and stuff like that, even Jirachi, you never know when Funny Fury Belt and Jirachi can actually be funny and work, especially against Rainbow Force, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, we got four DCEs, four DC, everything re mainly relies on DC in this deck, and to total things off, we do play nine basic dark energies for our dark energy counts this is the evil tulsa strike deck that i have built here in pcgo it's really all about countering bigger decks like mewtwo y and special energy based decks and the evil tall decks so that's why i got all these weird tech cards in the deck but we're going to try the deck out online and see it in action on pcgo so i'll see you in a minute all right guys here we go game number one with our evil tall Strike deck see how it goes and i think we're playing against an evil tall deck so it'll uh, hopefully go well our hand is a little weird. We do get the Mew start, so we could definitely start with Mew, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This is more of a techie sort of deck. It's got a lot of different tech cards to deal with certain cards, so who knows? We'll see how it goes. Mew might be a little useless, but we actually see a Zorua start. Now, I'm still not denying that this is going to be an evil tall deck, so definitely got to keep in mind. We'll just Ultra Ball away, Ultra Ball, and Dark Energy. Now, the problem here is if we grab a Shaman, we're not drawing many cards, and I might just end up drawing into a dead hand, which I don't want to do. I could grab Baby Evil Tall, which, you know, wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, let's see. So we got, okay, Zipstrika is prized. We could grab Shaman. Shaman's kind of useless. We could grab Evil Tall EX, or we can grab Pitch Black Spear. And honestly, I feel like just grabbing Pitch Black Spear. If he does play an Evil Tall EX down, we can just Pitch Black Spear it. So I don't know. Maybe it wasn't the best play, but who knows. So actually, let's do Max Elixir first. See if we can get a Dark. We do. So we can actually attach a Dark Energy to the Active 2. So this way we can split up the DCE and we can attack with both. I think that was a nice play. We do need to top deck something though in order to kind of make sure we're keeping the consistency. And Flow Boy, because our hand is pretty bad. So hopefully, hopefully we get top deck. Maybe my phone will end me. Uh, no, we just see a Lysander. And unfortunately that will confuse me. Uh, wait, wait, we could still win the game if we get head. So it's not the end of the world. Let's see what we can top deck. We do get another evil tall one, you know. Let's put the DCE on, and let's go for the Pitch Black Spear, and it 
got heads and we win the game. Wow. Quick game. We'll get into another game. Obviously, this isn't going to be the only game. I'm just joking, guys. This is going to be the end of the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, comment down below your favorite H3H3 H3 video. I'm just joking. I'll see you guys in another game. All right. Here we go. Second match with our deck. Flipping the coin, and we lose. Rip. I don't know what we're playing against. Uh, I saw water. Uh, I don't think it's Volcanian. I have a feeling it is for some reason. If it is, you know what? It's not the worst matchup. We get a baby evil tall star. We get the Fright Knight. I think the Fright Knight one is the most obvious choice because it does have the ability. And we can shut down any float stones or fighting fury belts or spirit links if whatever it is. So start the Fright Knight evil tall. And we'll go from there. I don't want to play down anything else in case of escape rope. We'll see though. We see a drowsy. So I'm thinking uh, dark eye. So, we do get hit with an N, which isn't a big deal. Now, if my opponent plays Evil Tall EX, you know, send it my way so I can, uh, you know, sub strike it. So, we are going to get hit with an N, and we'll see what our hand is going to look like. Alright, not the worst in the world. We do have... Actually, you know what? We can attack with this Pitch Black Spear Evil Tall. If it, it, uh, it's possible. If we can find an energy off this Max Elixir, we can possibly Sycamore and get a DCE. Who knows? Let's see if we can do... We do see a Snorlax GX. So, it looks like it's a small life stack. I didn't think this thing would be playable. I mean, I guess it's a promo, but still. Uh, I mean, it's not the best card in the world, but who knows. Uh, there's a dark energy. So, let's play down the other evil tall. Let's go with Max Elixir number one. Nope. I was really hoping for an energy there. Max Elixir number two. Okay, there we go. So, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's switch into evil tall. And, alright, let's do Sycamore and see if we can get a DCE. I mean, he doesn't have any EXs in play, but still be nice. And now we don't get it. We do get a Jirachi, which I'm actually going to play down just because we can use him for, uh, what's his face? Stardust on that Snorlax GX. So we'll play the Star the Jirachi down. A lot of people really underlook the Star Jirachi. Why do I keep saying Starmie? Jirachi. People are always, I never really see Jirachi all that much. People really always underlook it. So hopefully people will be like, man, Jirachi's good. I mean, there's a lot of special energies going around in the format. So you know what? Never doubt Jirachi. It's a really good card. Uh, especially against Giratina. So we see a Max Elixir. My opponent is already getting this thing powered up fairly fast. We do see a Hypno. Hold on. Uh, this thing... This Pokemon is... Oh, so he can only use Thunder Snore as he's asleep. Hmm. Well, you know what? Evil Tall EX still has a field day with that. So, uh... You know what? It won't be the end of the world. Uh, he can do... Goodnight Babies. Which might be annoying. Uh, that might be a huge one. He's probably gonna bring out Jirachi. No? Okay. I'm surprised he brought out that evil tall and not like Jirachi. Because, you know, Jirachi might pose as a threat, but hey, I'm not going to complain. He probably doesn't have that good of a hand, to be honest. Alright, so we'll play down the Parallel City. I really don't want to Sycamore away a special charge and stuff like that, but I really do not want to end him when he only has two cards in his hand. Just seems like suicide. Alright, so I'm just going to put a Dark Energy on. And I'm just going to threaten a uh, Pitch Black Spear next turn. So... Let's grab the Evil Tall EX, get him into the field, and, okay, he's doing 210, I think, with the Pulverizing Pancake. That's such a <laughs> Pulverizing Pancake. I get, wow, I'm gonna put the belt on. It's not really gonna matter, but I'll do it anyway, so I'll just pass. Next turn, I, I mean, maybe I should just power up Evil Tall, because this thing just gets destroyed by Evil Tall EX. Uh, Pulverizing Pancake. Wow, that, that attack name. 10 out of 10, Kappa. Uh, I mean, he's still not drawing anything from the looks of it. Does fine. I think that's a max elixir. Yeah, he's not really drawing anything, which is a good thing for us. So, he does play Hex Maniac, which doesn't really matter. I mean, shutting down the, ability, the tool doesn't matter. He has, like, no tools in play. He does find a thing, and it looks like he plays Manaphy, so that's interesting. But, you know what isn't interesting is... Pitch Black Spear, and we can target down that Shaman, we can take three prizes next turn, and he'd be left with a Snorlax, which, you know what, I don't know, oh, I forgot to play the Sycamore, oh my god, okay, whatever, it's fine, we got Jirachi and stuff, there's an Enhanced Hammer, which is a bummer, we just discard our special charge, he does play a Shaman down, but he doesn't have any spot for anything else on his bench now, which is actually kind of good, there's a Fighting Fury Belt going on to that Snorlax, uh, it will be able to get, I think, 230 HP. There's a Water Energy and a Fighting Fury Belt. <laughs> Puts a Fighting Fury Belt onto his hip, though. I guess he's trying to burn it, because, you know, he can't really play it with only three bench Pokemon. He can't play any other Pokemon down. I would have put on Shaman, though. That's interesting. 
There's the N. If he plays N, I'm actually going to be happy. Alright, nice, he does. So there's the N. Hopefully we can find another DCE off of that. That'd be really nice. Let's see. Yep, okay, nice. We do get a Blitzel. Zipstrika? You know what? Oh, no, Crushing Hammer! Whew, thank God, dude. I hate Crushing Hammer. There's a good night, babies. Hopefully we don't stay asleep. Never mind. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? So, looks like Evil Tall is taking a snore. I'm just going to put a Dark Energy on the bench, Evil Tall. I don't really know where to put this Funny Fury Belt. Like, what am I going to put it on? So, you know what? Let's just Trainer's Mail see what we can find. Uh, Mew? I don't really think Mew's going to be useful this match. I'll play Zeb Strike It Down anyways, just for the, uh, you know, I can't remember. Oh, we got an Enhanced Hammer. I'll definitely play that. We could have grabbed Escape Rope, I guess. Uh, but I don't know. So we'll play the Enhanced Hammer on that Snorlax and just get that DCE and kind of slow him down a little bit so he can't retreat and just knock me out. And I think I'm just going to pass. So we'll play down the Zip Striker. This way we have something to do when those Shamans, you know, we just lie in your Shaman, knock it out with Zip Striker. So I guess we'll do that. Wouldn't really kill me to do that. So there's an Ultra Ball, but my opponent really can't grab anything, especially thanks to the, uh, the Parallel City being in play. Unless he has a Stadium in his hand, but I don't know if he does. He might just be burning stuff. He has to discard two Snorlax, though, which is actually kind of good for us. Pardon me, which is good for us. Uh, I don't- I couldn't see what he grabbed that. I was looking at his discard. You know, I think it was a Drowsy. Uh, but no, he just retreats into Snorlax. He can attack me with Collapse, which does 80. Okay. And do we wake up? Alright, we do. So here's the thing. We can knock out his Shaman, which I think is the best play. I'm honestly feeling just holding on to this hand. Like, I really do want to keep that Dark Energy and stuff, so... Let's just go with the Fright Knight, and we can hit that Shaman. We can knock it out, take two easy prizes... And I do need to, I want to hold on to his hand for the evil ball, so we can evil ball him next turn. It, I don't know if it'll knock him out. He does, he doesn't have 130 HP left completely. There's the crushing hammer, but he does discard the DCE, um, which is weird, because he, he's knocking me out. Yeah, he's knocking me out. Why would he do that? Why? Okay, well, pff, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> uh, we could bring out the other evil tall, maybe, but I feel like just going for the evil tall EX... The Finding Fury Bell will come into effect now, uh, which is a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm just gonna put the Finding Fury Bell in the Evil Tall, I guess. So let's just put a DCE down, and... If he plays a DCE, he can knock me out. But then we can just respond with our own baby Evil Tall. I think I'm fine to just go with the Evil Ball. We can always Oblivion Wing him, or even Pitch Black Spear. I really wish I had that special charge now, knowing that he plays Hammers. Because we will run out of DCE soon. We only got one left in the deck. So there's a Sycamore, okay. So if he finds a DCE, he can do the GX attack and knock me out. But, I mean, at that point, we're in a good spot. There's a Crushing Hammer, which does get Tails. Hopefully, you know, every other Hammer he plays gets Tails. There's the Knockout. And, you know what, that's fine. We still are in a good spot. So we can bring out the Baby Evil Tall. We can knock him out. And, okay, I actually, hopefully we get an end, that'd be great. Uh, no. Uh, but no, my opponent just concedes the game. Snorlax GX wasn't enough to stop the big bad evil tall deck. So, uh, even there, here you go, Snorlax ain't as good as it seems. I'm just joking, I don't know if Snorlax is good or not. We'll have to find out when I ever cover it. But yeah, hop into another game with the evil tall's of Shrekka deck. See you in a minute. Oh. Alright guys, here we go. And, alright, we got another game. And we're playing against evil tall, most likely, which is f good. Uh, couldn't really talk there but which is good because i really wanted to play against an evil tall deck with this deck you know it's a strike a deck you know we gotta we gotta run into evil tall so we'll see how the game goes we do start with evil tall which i guess is fine i would have liked to start with the other one and, uh, all right so my opponent's hand is you know mulliganing we're probably just gonna end i don't really want to play the sick more i just i don't know i'm probably just gonna end up ending him i mean depends we'll see though what happens uh, hopefully he doesn't start with that Fright Knight Evil Tall, that would actually be a little annoying. Maybe we could still knock it out with Evil Ball, I guess, but we'll, whatever, we'll see what goes down. We could draw an extra card, hopefully it's a Strike a Mew, I'll take it, play the Mew down, and we'll see, so my opponent, okay, so he does start with it, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. Let's max Elixir, I guess, try to get another energy on Mew, and alright, there we go. So now we can start maybe doing memories, so... Um, I, I don't want to play the belt down just yet, but I kind of do. So I think I'm just going to do it. I mean, it doesn't affect it, but at the same time, it's going to help me in the long run. So I guess we'll play it. And okay, we got our own evil tall. All right, so we got Faded Town, Super Rod, Dark Energy. I'm probably just going to end up discarding the Dark Energy and the Super Rod. I don't like discarding Super Rod because we need it for Zip Strike Up, but 
I still want to keep the Dark Energy and the Evil Tall. Maybe I could have gotten rid of Dark Energy, but it doesn't matter. We'll play the Blitz, so we'll play the Evil Tall, and we'll pass. Again, I mean, we're probably just going to have discarding the Super Rod anyways, unless he ends me. So, it's fine. It honestly is. But, it's all good. Now, my opponent could play, like, a Parallel City. That would be a little annoying. You could Parallel City and shut me down. He does play a Trubbish, so... I kind of regret playing the Mew down now, but... You never know. Mew could help us. Who knows? Garbodor will probably come into play soon. But, you know what? If it doesn't, we're all good. He does put a Dark Energy onto his Evil Tall. And, I mean, I don't even know if he has anything left in his hand to do. Uh, I don't know if he does. I mean, he hasn't really played much else. Like, no other items. Nothing, so... I don't even know if his hand's any good. I guess we'll see, though. Opponent is taking a while here with his turn. And I guess maybe he's like, oh, what am I going to do? Well, there's uh, there's something. There's an Ultra Ball. He's going to get rid of two random receivers. Wow. And he does grab a Shaman. Okay. Shaman, you know what? That's easy prize bait for Substrika, even though Evil Tall already is. But it's all good in the hood. I doubt he plays Substrika. Uh, but he does Lysander out the Pitch Black Spear Evil Tall. Alright, I think I discarded Switch, right? Nope, okay, never mind, never mind, I didn't sweep. So it's all good. So he does set up for a few cards. Uh, I, I really don't want it to max elixir onto that evil tall, start building one up, but no, just a pass. Okay. I'm just gonna put a Dark Energy on. I mean, I would, you know, maybe risk it for a Switch and a DCE and a Substrika, but I don't think I'll get it. I, I basically got it. I, I, what? Okay, never mind. If I got an Ultra Ball off that, I literally would have had the combo, but it's all good. We do get a Max Elixir, which I'm probably going to end up playing on our Evil Tall. So let's play a Switch into the Evil Tall. Let's go with a Max Elixir and find a Dark Energy. Okay, good. Let's put that onto our Fright Nighter and let's Evil Ball. Mew Yax, you're pretty useless in this matchup because of Garbodor and the fact that it doesn't run any Mewtwo's or anything. So hit him for 80 and I guess we'll go from there. So we're in a pretty good spot right now. Really nothing to worry about. We can do the Substrika soon. And hopefully we get some Substrika action this game. That'd be really nice. So there's a DCE going on. Luckily we have no other EXs down. So he's really only doing the 60 damage to the Evil Tall. Which doesn't matter. And the fact that he's not really powering up any other Evil Talls is pretty good. So I'm feeling good about this spot. But there's a Lysander onto the Mew. Oh, what? Why would he bring up the Blitzel? What the heck? Okay. Uh, okay. I mean, he is taking a prize. But... I'm really surprised he didn't knock out Blitzel. That may have cost him dearly. Uh, this is a good opportunity to just bring up our own Evil Tall. Since he has, like, not much HP left. Put the DC on. Let's Trainer's Mail. And Fighting Fury Belt, I guess we'll take it. I mean, we don't really need it. But uh, we can probably just put on the Evil Tall just in case Garbodor does come in play. And he concedes the game. No. Ooh, we got a Breakthrough Pack, actually. We can open that up. Ooh, he conceded. Uh, we'll still use this. We'll find another game after this. We can open up that breakthrough pack, I guess, to see if we can pull. And I really, hopefully, we can get those three evolutions packs soon because I really want to open those and try and pull other evolutions cards that I kind of need. The only thing I really need, I guess, is like Dragonite, maybe a break, but I don't really think there's a point in making a video on a break Pokemon. They changed up the layout, so you can't really click that anymore, which I'm kind of mad about. I don't know, not really, but whatever. Anyways, open a pack of Breakthrough. By the way, those Hercules Silver packs, they are on tr trades. They're not, like, locked from, like, the shop or anything. Those are on, you know, I'm using those for trade bait right now, so that's why they're locked. Mewtwo Full Art? Noivern Break? You know what? I'm, I'm comfortable with that. It's not the best thing in the world, but you know what? Now I have one for trade. So, it's all good. See you guys in another game. Okay, guys, here we go with our probably final match. I think we're playing against Evil Tall. I don't even know. I saw Dark, so I'm assuming it is. We do go first, which is always good. And we'll see what we get. Alright, you know what? I'll take that Fright Night start. That's always nice to see. We run into a lot of Volcanion and Greninja Break, which are two decks I really do not like playing against. I, I hate Greninja Break. Like, I literally think it's worse than Nightmarch. Like, I just cannot stand that deck. But it's all good. And no, all right, we see a Dark Rise, so I guess it's not. That's a bit of a bummer. I really would have liked to have seen some action with our good old, uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Striker, but it's fine. I'm gonna Ultra Ball, get rid of the Parallel City and the Dark Energy. I don't really think we'll need them. And I guess we'll just grab Evil Tally X, which it looks like one is prized, which sucks, but. It's fine. Substrika, not really that good this match unless we see an evil talk him down. Let's go with the N, and let's make my opponent get a new hand. Get us a new hand. And Fighting Fear Belt, not what I need. We didn't really get the greatest hand. I mean, we still have Pitch Black Spear, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll put the Fighting Fear Belt onto you. My opponent won't play Garbodor with Hypno, so... Yeah, it looks like it's a Dark Head deck, which you don't really see much of. Usually it's Dark Pulse with, like, dragons, but... 
I guess my opponent's going a different route. So there's another Dark Ride, perfectly Pitch Black Spirit. My opponent definitely won't be attacking me this turn, which is good, but we do see a DCE. I really want to top deck something now, because uh, we probably will get knocked out by Dark Head, unless he doesn't play a Stadium to actually get out of sleep. Maybe that could be good. So there's a Sycamore for that Trainer's Mail. Maybe he could end me instead, that'd be really nice. He puts a Floatstone on his Dark Ride. So I don't know if he's going to retreat or not. There's a Parallel City. We can just play Faded Town anyways. And did he make me put three bench? Yeah, okay, yeah. He made three bench Pokemon. He gets rid of an Enhanced Hammer and a Super Rod. Okay, that's actually two good cards to see get discarded. There's a Max Elixir. Doesn't find energy. Perfect. So we just get hit with a Dark Pulse for 20. All right. Top deck. All right. Ultra Ball. I'll take it. We can get rid of Mew and a Dark Energy. We can grab Shaman. We can Faded Town away that Parallel City. And, alright, we can do this. We'll grab the Shaman. And, we will play the Faded Town down. Even though, well, he doesn't play any Megas, but you know what, it's all good. Let's play the Shaman. Set up for six. See what it gives us. Alright, more stuff we don't really need, I guess. But, it's fine. We'll end. I really am not looking into losing two DCEs, even with Special Charge. I'm not really a big fan of that, so... Yeah, we do get an escape rope, which really no point in playing. I mean, we could escape rope, bring out that other Darkrai, and or you could bring out the Drowsy, which you know what? Not the worst idea in all honesty. Uh Yeah, but then we can't actually do anything, so I'm not going to. Um Should I play the Zebstrika down? Uh we'll play yeah, we'll play Blitzel, I guess, just for Zebstrika. I don't know if it's needed, but it's fine. We'll pitch black spear, hit both for 60. Soften him up. I don't know if we'll get knocked out. Uh, you know, if he plays a Hypno, he's going to have to get out of his own sleep. And unless he plays Zoark or Party Night City or whatever that stadium's card that lets you get out of sleep is, Darkrai is kind of stuck in the active spot. But if not, you never know. Uh, there's a Snorlax GX, so it looks like it is a Snorlax deck. I know they just added the GX kind of update thing in the new update they did, where you can actually use GXs now. So there's an Ultra Ball. He's definitely grabbing Hypno with this. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. Or if he did, uh, I don't know. He's definitely grabbing Hypno, unless he grabs Shaman, but I don't think he will. Because he discarded Sycamore, so he probably has a Via Seeker in his hand, or like another Sycamore, or like an N or something. He's probably grabbing Hypno, unless like both are prized, which might be the case, because he's really taking a while here. Unless he's looking through his deck, seeing what he's got, but I'm not going to complain if that Hypno is prized. So yeah, we'll see what he grabs here. Uh... But, okay, so our hand is not bad. I do want to hold on to that escape rope. That could come in handy later, especially with the sleep. But, okay, I don't know. Uh, I think the switch is still in the deck, right? Yeah, switch is still in the deck, so it's fine. Uh, we could definitely use Oblivion Wing soon if we get knocked out. But no, he actually does grab the Shaman over the Hypno. Unless the Hypno's in his hand, which it might be. But no, nope, looks like it's not. So he does set up for three. Uh, maybe he's digging for a way to actually de get me out of the, uh, get himself out of the sleep, but yep, there's the Hypno. He still needs, you know, a stadium to get out of the sleep, and a dark energy. He does end me, though, which is fine. Wasn't really a fan of losing a few cards with this hand, so I'll take it. Hopefully we don't get knocked out this turn, though. That'd be nice. Uh, looks like our hand isn't that bad. We got N, Max Elixir, which is actually kind of nice to see. Dark energy for Oblivion Wing. Transmit for Via Seeker. And I don't know what he can do. Like, if he does Goodnight Babies me, he's going to have to play, like, a stadium to counter that. And if he can't, then it's not going to be good for him. If we don't wake up, that would suck, because I would really like to do another Pitch Black Spear and hit another couple things on the bench. Luckily, that Shaman's chilling on the bench. Uh, another good thing is Hip uh, Snorlax GX gets wrecked by Evil Tall, so we can do that. I might go for the Mew play on that Snorlax, because Snorlax can destroy Evil Tall EX with that GX attack. So, gotta watch out for that. Don't really know. Uh, so there's a Dark Energy. Now the thing is, he needs to find a Stadium, but nope, he just Dark Heads me for 80, which is fine. Glad he didn't go for the Knockout. So, I'm gonna Max Elixir first, see what we can get. Uh, we didn't get Energy. Alright, well, rip. And, uh, I guess I'll put a Dark Energy onto the Evil Tall EX. Uh, I could Lysander something out, like maybe the Snorlax. Uh, okay, I guess, okay, we'll grab this. I could Lysander out, like, the Hypno or something, I guess. I don't know. He might float stone. There's a... Speaking of, you know, stuff, there's a Dark Energy. We put on our Evil Tall. Uh, like, I kind of want to Lysander out something, because, again, we have Fright Night in play. How much retreat? Snorlax has four. Perfect. So, yeah, we'll just bring up the Snorlax then and just Bitch Black Spirit. 
uh, yeah, we'll trap it in the active spot. It does have a huge retreat cost, and you can't really use Floatstone, so I'll go with that. It might have been a missed opportunity to, uh, you know, hit the double Darkrai, but it's all good. We could still hit the Smilax for 60, kind of soften it up for later, which is actually kind of nice, since it does need a lot of energy to attack. So Evil Tolly X should have no problem destroying it down the road. So we'll hit the Snorlax. We could hit the Shaman, but, you know, Zip Strike, you know, he can just, you know, Zip Strike the Shaman. So it's all good. My opponent can't really do much. He can't power up the Snorlax in one turn. The only way the Snorlax can get out of the active spot is if he plays like a Water Energy Manaphy or if he switches or like does another Escape Rope. But if not, Snorlax is stuck in the active spot and we have more Pitch Black Spear Bait. And we can knock out that Dark Rider on the bench, and we can go from there and keep the Snorlax trapped in the active spot. Now, it does have a lot of HP, so it will be living through a lot of Pitch Black Spears, which is fine enough. You know, if this thing stays in the active spot, we can keep hitting the bench. I'm fine. There's Mew. Perfect. We can definitely power up that Mew. Just put the Funny Fear Belt onto the Snorlax, and uh, Max Elixir coming down. And the Find Energy. Okay, good. Good night, babies. All right. Can we wake up? That's the thing. We really need to wake up here. If not, I'm going to be upset. No, you pickle. All right. You know what? We can maybe get switch off this trainer's mail and retreat our Mew. So let's try it. So let's play the Mew down. Well, I should have max elixir first. Whatever. Whoops. Hey, escape rope. I don't want to play you. Uh, but you know what? It still allows us to knock out that dark on the bench. So I'll do it anyways. So I'm going to play max elixir. Actually, we can Lysander, too. There's a Dark Energy. Nice. I'm going to put that on Evil Tall on the bench, just so that we have a way to do something. All right, let's do this. And, I mean, I could bring out the Snorlax again with Lysander. I don't know. I mean, the Snorlax is probably going to get knocked out by, like, Evil Tall soon, because it already has a 60 damage on it, which is good. But I feel like Lysandering out... Yeah, I feel like the Snorlax might be the better play. Or maybe Lysandering out the Shaman, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But he does actually bring out that other Darkrai. Huh. Alright. Well, uh, that's fine by me. So let's retreat the Mew. And we will... I guess... Okay, I'm just gonna pitch Black Spear. Keep him out because, you know, you can't retreat without a uh, thing. Because Floatstone won't work. So we can take two prizes. And be a Seeker. Blitzel, don't need you. I mean, be a Seeker. Nice. But I don't want to be a Seeker. I don't want to sick more away to be a Seekers. But hey, you know what? Evil Tall's Reign of Terror continues, so there's a DC going down. He's probably going to play Goodnight Babies, too. I don't know if he'll end me to four, but I wouldn't mind that. I would like to do a Lysander and trap that Shaman, but hey, whatever. I mean, if we could trap that Shaman, we could probably win the game. Because we could trap it there, and then we can kind of just snipe the bench. And oh, we wake up. So yeah, I think I'm going to hit that Shaman, or I can trap the Hypno. Uh, anyways, we'll do it. Let's be a Seeker. And he concedes the game. Another win against the Snorlax deck. And we get a tournament ticket. And I'm just, you know, saving up for those triumphants. So, uh, I'll see you guys in another game. And I really want to find an Evil Tall matchup to show off the Zip Striker. So, hopefully we find one. Alright, here we go, guys. With probably our final match with the deck. I mean, I know I said that last time. But, uh, this is gonna be the final match, probably. And hopefully it's against an Evil Tall deck. Which I think it is. Because I saw Dark and Psychic. And this is good. Our hand is fine. We can, uh, you know what, I'll just Ninja Boy. And go from there. Uh, yeah, I'll probably end up Ninja Boying. We'll see, though, what happens. Maybe the Blitzel start isn't so bad, so maybe I won't Ninja Boy. I don't know. I kind of want a Ninja Boy, but I can walk into a Lysander if I want to play later, so it's all good. So, I'm going to put a Dark Energy on Blitzel, because I can. Let's, okay, let's Trainer's Mail. See what we can find. All right, Parallel City. I'm going to Parallel City my opponent before he can Parallel City me, so let's do that Parallel City. This way, if he plays it, then uh, it's kind of stuck there. And yeah, that's good. Alright, so it's Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Ninja Boy and the Ultra Ball. And alright, we'll grab a Shaman EX with this. Okay. We'll get that Shaman down and we'll set up for four. Hopefully we get something good off of this because hand ain't looking too good. So let's see what Shaman gives us. Alright, nice. We get a Mew. We can play him down. I'm just going to play the N. No point in Sycamore in a way. Two via Seekers. So play the N. See what we can get. We got a Max Elixir. Okay. I don't know if I should power up the Mew or not. I really wanted to get an Evil Tall off of that, but, eh, you know, you can't, you can't always win. So, okay, let's do this, and we'll move it to that. And I guess we'll play the Fighting Fury Belt on, and pass. I mean, that'd be funny to Fighting Fury Belt Reckless Charge for 60, but... Actually, no, Fighting Fury Belt doesn't work, because of Fright Knight. Now, I don't really like having Shaman down for Pitch Black Spear, but... It's all good. If he knocks me out, I'm gonna be very upset. I don't know if he can, though. But if he does, that would be pretty annoying. Uh, we'll see, though, if he does or not. He's going to have to do, like, switch, max elixir, retreat for free. So, uh, you know what? 
I'm feeling comfortable about this. So there's a trainer's mail, and uh, as long as he doesn't like build up like a, a way to actually knock out Blitzel next or Zip Strike next turn, if we can get Zip Strike going, then I'm happy. So Ultra Ball gets rid of a Center Lady and a Lysander from the looks of it. Now Garbodor could be a problem for that Mew, but Mew is just nice to have for that free retreat anyways. So it's all good. So he actually grabs a Shaman. Hmm. All right. So I guess his hand wasn't that good. There's another Evil Tall going down. All right, that's fine. And I guess Shaman for three, unless he attaches an energy. Uh, I don't know what he'll attach it to. I would have just attached it to the bench. He puts a Floatstone on it, but uh, ha, ha, you can't play it. But I mean, he probably did that anyways, just so that he burns his hand. He puts a DCE on it, so this is definitely where we need to get Zip Strike. If we don't get Zip Strike off of this Sycamore, I'm going to be pretty upset. I mean, we've already used up two Ultra Balls, which is annoying. So he does play an Evil Tall down. And as long as we don't see any max elixirs either, then we're going to be in a really good sh uh, spot. Uh, no, but a Lysander on our Shaman, which is a, not the worst thing in the world, I guess, because we do have Switch in the deck. So, it's Trainer's Mail. We don't really need anything off of that, so we won't even bother. I'm just going to put up the energy on regardless. We can get a Switch or an Escape Rope. We can do that. I'd rather have a Switch, though. Alright. But, nope. It doesn't look like we got it. Alright, so we can play down the Evil Tall. Definitely play down that second Blitzel and the Baby Evil Tall. We can Trainer's Mail. See what's in here. Alright, well, there's a Sycamore, I guess. We'll have to keep Shaman in the active. We can just retreat him next turn, it's fine. We'll pass. We didn't even get the Zip Strike anyway, so I didn't really want to do that. So, it's all good. It does set me up for Pitch Black Spear, which is annoying. I really want to be in a position where I knock out this Evil Tall, but no, he passes the turn. Guess his hand wasn't that good, so let's retreat into the mm, I'll just retreat into Blitzel it's not the end of the world I should have actually no I should have discarded the energy and the special charge back in the deck it's fine we get a switch and look at that we get Zip Strika. so we can play down the Zip Strika. and now we can hit him with a crashing bolt showing off how good Zip Strika is 220 damage you are wrecked evil tall we can take a prize and he doesn't have any other way to respond and attack this turn, which is actually really good. We can start charging up more evil talls. Things are looking up for us. So my opponent, evil tall goes down. He brings up the evil tall EX. All right, now it is a bit annoying that I lost a special charge already. That's why I don't really like running one, because if you lose them, then they're kind of useless. So a little annoying there that we lost it. And he does bring up the evil tall in the active. He puts an energy on it. Uh, is Lysander in our discard? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Rip. Alright, well, never mind. So, we'll put a Dark Energy on. Uh, I'm just gonna Ultra Ball away the N and the Evil Tall EX. Uh, I don't really think it's a big deal that we lost. And what's left in the deck? Super Odd. Alright, we still got the Super Odd. We'll grab the second Zip Strika so that we have a response to that. And, you know what? I'm feeling comfortable with this hand. Like, I don't know if we need to do anything else. So, uh... And, nope, we see... My opponent can see the game. I guess that's what you get for playing Zip Strike Up. But you know what? We still showed off the strength of Zip Strike. It makes your opponent concede just like that. Because they realize the Lightning is just too much for them to handle. And uh, just like that, we won. We're getting closer to those three packs. Hopefully, we get them soon. 935, looking Dereci. But uh, yeah, that'll wrap up the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe more PTO videos. Help me on the road to 1K subs. I want to see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Christmas or New Year's. That would be awesome. So we'll see if we can do that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on another PGO video. Peace out.